Hey folks, welcome to the 28th Isometria devlog. In this week's episode, I'll discuss all sorts of changes to the game, including changes to the player model, the addition of visible armor on the character, the ability for players to swim, new items, a first look at the new tundra biome, including some basic items that can be crafted there, such as ice and snow walls and windows and doors. I also have to announce that the Steam page for this game is now available, and you can wishlist Isometria right now. Anyway, let's dive right on in. The first thing you'll notice is that players now have clothing on and have hair. There are only two character types in this game right now. This change was implemented in order to facilitate the ability for the player to swim such that their body can now go under the water and their hand and head and hair will be above the water. Also, players can now equip armor, specifically a helmet, chest plate, and pants and the armor will now show on their character. Most enemies in the game can now walk on water. However, if the enemy has a character model similar to a humanoid, their head and maybe their weapon will be above the water. Initial work has started on a new tundra biome. This biome consists of a frozen forest with ice crystals throughout, as well as frozen rivers that extend outward in a long and wavy-like pattern. The local inhabitants of the tundra include pangies, little penguin critters, and currently they're the only inhabitants. But more bad guys and things to do and collect in the tundra will be added shortly. New hotkeys have been added, such as quick heal and quick grenade as well as quick stamina and quick power. And don't forget quick torch. That way you don't have to go into your inventory every time you want to access one of those things. Snow and ice walls have been created, as well as snow and ice windows and snow and ice doors. Also, a wooden wardrobe has been created that has the biggest storage of any container yet, enough to store a full set of gear, and three slots. Other new items include the pocket watch, which increases your speed slightly and gives you the pocket watch bonus, which allows you to keep track of the time of day. Also, the compass gives you a stamina boost, your current location in the game world, so you won't ever get lost again. Last but not least, and probably the most important development in Isometria's history, is the creation of a Steam page. You can now wishlist Isometria on Steam, and I am extremely grateful for the nearly two and a half thousand wishlists that have already come in. Uh, thank you so much. That is ridiculous. Um, I, I am honestly, I can't believe it, but that's the truth of it. Um, so thank you so much. And if you haven't already, head on over to Steam and wishlist it. I'll leave a link in the description below. And until next week, have a good one. Bye.